All right, we are recording. Hey, so today I wanted to kind of just share my thoughts about the future of tricking, as well as my plans on how to make it grow as a sport. And I think I'm just gonna start off with the major problems. People don't know what tricking is. If they know what tricking is, they think it's too dangerous or difficult for them to do. And even if they want to do it, they don't know how to start. I think the biggest thing we can do is just providing more content. We need to create entertainment content so we can reach the bigger masses and then also create educational content so that we can make sure that those people have access to all the information they need to start tricking. And that is exactly what I'm going to try to do on this YouTube channel. And I have a pretty elaborate plan on how I'm going to reach a lot of people. I've thought about this a lot recently and I think that tricking is kind of just at the starting point of its evolution and to think that I could play a role in making this sport grow, this sport that means so much to me, that has changed my life and that I'm so passionate about, that's just very beautiful to me. So I know I can do it, I know I can help grow the sport and I also know I can make a living off of this at some point, but I just don't know the time frame. But I do want to capture this, this point in time because I'm um, just starting this journey and I think it's going to be really cool in a few years looking back at this video um, and, and seeing kind of where I started, I guess. So yeah, that's, that's kind of the reason I'm making this video. And I think that you can play a role in this as well uh, by doing the exact same things that I just mentioned. You know, making entertaining content around tricking, educational content around tricking and then also helping to grow your local community by offering classes or whatever. Maybe just helping out someone in, in your open, open gym sessions. I think a lot of people don't feel qualified enough to make content about tricking or about whatever. I think a lot of the time they're just like, oh, I need a better camera, I need to get better at this trick before I make a tutorial and I need to get better at this and this and this before I make videos. But the truth is that it all doesn't matter, you know? Let's say, for example, I make a video about how to get jacked and how to get a six pack. Well, there are already thousands of videos out there on how to do that by a lot of people who are much, much more qualified than me at this. You know, they're more jacked, they're leaner, they've, maybe they, they studied this at college, they have all this knowledge that maybe I don't have. But the truth is that I do have some knowledge and maybe I reach just one person that they didn't reach and I change their life forever, you know? They start going to the gym, they become happier, healthier, stronger, they look better, they, they find themselves, they become confident. And maybe all of that happened because I decided to make that video and I reached them when the other videos couldn't. Just because you're not the best at something doesn't mean that you don't have any value to offer, you know? So I do think that a lot more people should start creating content about the things that they are passionate about, especially if there is a lack of content like with tricking. So yeah, hopefully we'll see a lot of content around tricking in the future. Hopefully we'll see some new trickers and hopefully I can inspire some people to maybe start lifting weights or do flips or create content or do whatever they always wanted to do. Yeah, that was kind of just it. I just wanted to share some of my thoughts. Honestly, this video is also kind of just for me to look back at in the future um, when the plan has worked, because I know it's gonna work, you know? Um, so I'm, I'm gonna look back at this video and show you guys like, oh, oh, look, I had all of this planned. But yeah, I'm really excited for all the stuff that's coming up. I've got a lot of stuff planned, some far in the future stuff and also some stuff that's gonna happen very soon and I can't wait to share it with you guys. I guess that's it from me and I'll see you soon.